Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to read one of my favorite books from the Peace Library. I have a lot of favorites. This one's called Discovering Nature's Alphabet by Christina Castella and Brian Boyle. Before I read the book, I want to go for a nature hunt in my yard, so hopefully you'll go for a nature hunt as well. And then afterwards we can talk about all kinds of wonderful things that we can do with what we find in our front yard. So here's me going to my yard and then we'll read the book. Welcome to my front yard. I'm gonna go on a nature hunt and see what I can find. And then I'll post a video later of reading one of my favorite books from the Peace Library, Nature's Alphabet. Maybe you can hear the wind or see it in the grass. I wonder if it's windy where you are right now. I have my basket ready to go and things to collect things in. I'll be back later with a book and some fun activities we can all do. And we have these beautiful flowers in our front yard. Such a wonderful color right now. Some are open and some are closed. I'm finding lots of wonderful things, branches and leaves. But here in our flower bed, I noticed that our onions are growing. They still look too small for me to pull. I'll wait and pull those later. Do you have a garden at home? Here's some onions I could pull. This one's dried. What are you gardening? I found some holly berries too. Look at those. I wonder what we could do with those. This is our orange tree. I wonder what letters you can see in the shapes in the tree. I went on my nature walk and I found lots of interesting things and I'll share them with you. I found a branch with some holly on it and I'm going to put my things into different containers. I found this wooden cup in my office. I may break some of the holly branches off. That one's getting tangled. I think what I want to do is take the little holly berries and keep those separate. So I'll put those in this little container. I wonder what you found in your yard. I'm hoping you'll post pictures and share with me. Some of the branches I found are tiny little branches. And some are nice long branches. Look at how long that is. I'll show you what we can do with these in a few minutes. We can all go on nature walks. Here's another long one with lots of interesting leaves on it. This branch I got because I could see a letter in it already. Do you see the same letter I'm seeing? I'll put it with my big branches. We may have a cat in front of our screen in a few minutes. I also found some yellow flowers, and our cat Dawn is curious about those yellow flowers. And this stick had some really interesting shapes. Can you see that? There's a curve there. I found an orange from our orange tree. And I picked some of the flowers from our bush. I thought I would put those as petals inside of this other bowl. I want to show you some fun things that we can do with all the things we found out in nature. I'll show you my bowl in a minute. I'm taking all the petals off because I thought I might want to use those just as petals. We'll take those apart. And now I have a bowl of pink petals a bowl of red berries, an orange, I have some small branches, and I have some big branches and flowers. Let's see if I have anything else in here. I have lots of leaves. I'm going to put those in a box here. And some of my flowers I also got, it's hard to see because there's lots of leaves on this one, so let me take it off little buds. One of the things you can do, and I'll show you pictures later if people have done this, is you can find a frame at home. I took the glass out so nobody can get hurt. 
and you can arrange things in the frame and make patterns. So I'm going to put some leaves in, some petals, and just make a picture. And it's something you can do and it'll be different every single time because you'll have different materials that you make the picture with. This is something you can do at home. There's more. I'm going to read a book to you in a few minutes here that shows you some other great ideas of things to do at home. All right, I'll show you this picture and then we'll read a book. So this is my picture that I made with all the things you saw me find in my garden from the big branches, the small branches, the orange. I didn't put the orange in my picture, but I could. Maybe I could cut it up and use the orange peel, eat the orange, the petals, and some other branches and herbs I found. Let's read a book about things we can do with all of our natural materials we just gathered. So here's our book for today, Discovering Nature's Alphabet, by Christine Costella and Brian Boyle. And in this book, there's all kinds of pictures of things you find in nature. So we just did our own nature hunt. We'll see what we can do with all of those wonderful things later. And I'm hoping you'll share pictures with me. Discovering Nature's Alphabet by Christina Costella and Brian Boyle, published by Heyday Books in Berkeley, California. Do you see the letters? What letters do you see there? What do you see that they may have made those letters out of? A B, C. This looks like seashells to me. What does it look like to you? Introduction. Discovering Nature's Alphabet is a playful adventure, a game of looking and seeing. Anyone can play, and this is a game you can play at home right now. Find letters by looking around the neighborhood in a local park, at the beach, in a garden, at the zoo, on a hike, or while camping. At first, a forest beach, a forest or a park might seem like a jungle of branches, leaves, flowers, and rocks. But letters will begin to emerge in nature's repetition, patterns, shapes, and brilliant colors. If you like, take a camera on your quest. Photographs capture your discoveries and allow you to bring them home to share with friends. I hope you'll post some for me too. When you take your pictures, pay attention to scale, line, shape, texture, color, and framing so that the letters will be clear and the pictures will be exciting. Over time, you will require your own personal collection of all 26 letters. We hope this exploration game broadens your smile, curiosity, sensitivity, and perception of the world around you. Good luck in your adventures. So hopefully all of you will do this. You can do it in your own backyard right now. A. Nature holds a secret world filled with hidden letters. They found three different big A's in nature's alphabet. B. Do you see all the B's? Where do you see them? Do you see more than four B's? I see four. Maybe you see another one. See one here? Another one here? Another one here? When you trace the B, you go up and then around and around. Let me know if you see another one there. There's a lot of shapes. C. The best way to find them is to slow down and explore. This is a good time in our lives to slow down and explore. How many C's can you see? One, two, Three, four, five, six, 
seven. Seven C's on that page. What letter's next? D. One, two, three, four D's. This one looks like it's made by two parts. Looks like maybe that's a bud of a flower, I think. What do you think that is? And then a leaf or a petal curving around. It's interesting to wonder where they found these, what the bigger picture looks like. E. Look for the building blocks of letters in lines and branches. How many E's can you count there? One, two, three, four. This E has a very tiny middle spike. Do you see? That's so small compared to the other ones. That one's so long. I wonder which E you like the best. Oh, the page is sticky. There we go. F. There's only two Fs that they show here, but I wonder if there's more. Do you see more Fs? They're all big letters. F. When you do your hunt in nature, I wonder if you can find any small letters. G. Or in curves and curls. And the G has the line there, the big G. G, line. Three. Four. Curls are harder to find sometimes. H. Look at that. They found two trees. It almost looks like they're hugging to make the H. Hugging starts with H. I. One, two, three, four eyes. Those are little eyes, aren't they? We've been looking at big letters, and we got to I, and now they're little letters. J. When we look at our activities, I'm going to show you some creative things to make J with. Look at this. Long J. K. Two Ks. One, two. A letter might hide until you stand in just the right place. Sometimes if you walk around, it looks different on the different sides of a tree or a branch. L. Down, across. One, two, three, four, five L. I wonder how many L's you'll find. M. Nature makes letters in minutes and days. Do you see this here with the icicle? That took days to form that M. This is an M that took maybe years. It's made with a branch. I wonder how long it took that branch to grow. What do you think? In. Do you see the in? What about over here? Do you see the in over there? Oh, our centuries. Some of our shapes took a really long time to grow. Centuries is hundreds and hundreds of years. Like in the circle of a tree. Our fossil, Q, we forgot one, I missed P. P, they grow in flowers, hang on trees, and are shaped by animals. This is our first animal in here, look at that, P. Q, now we're on Q. R. One might spiral from a vine in spring. R. 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 Three R's. S. Or wash ashore on a summer beach. T. T. One, two, three, four T's. One might appear in autumn leaves. You are be etched in winter snow. Look at that. 
but lake made a U. V, that's the biggest letter we've seen yet, a mountain. Letters can be big or small. How many V's do you see? You can count the V's while I try to turn the page. They are everywhere from the desert to the ocean. W. I am having trouble with pages today. X, one, two, three, four X's. Nature's alphabet is all around us. Why? Just waiting to be discovered. Look at this one. That one to me looks like a bird in flight. Looks like it's moving. Z. Z. There's two Z's. All right. So I want to share with you some things you can do with the alphabet. And I'll show you some of the things I did with mine. This is a picture of a friend of mine making his first letter of his name with branches. He's trying to find the right branches to make a J. Which branches would you use? This is another child making the first letter of his name with an O. It looks like he made another letter there. What other letters can you see? When you gather your things from your yard, you can put them together with each one in its own place. I'll show you me sorting mine in a few minutes. Maybe you'll get a frame like I do and make a picture. Maybe, <laughs> turn that upside down. Maybe you'll make a picture of yourself or a picture of someone else. That's a picture of Amy's face. When you get your materials gathered, you can put some frames out and see what you can do with them. If you gathered rocks, maybe you could put lines on them and see what shapes, maps you could make. Lots of different possibilities. Now let me show you what I did with mine. Thank you for watching our video. Hopefully you have as much fun hunting in your garden as we did.